The man convicted of stabbing and killing another man who cut the line at a Popeyes was sentenced today. The confrontation started when the victim cut the line while trying to get the chain's popular chicken sandwich. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins has followed this case from the beginning. She was in court and explains why the county state's attorney disagrees with the sentence. I uh, respect the decision of the court, so we disagree uh, because I, we think accountability is important. Today, Rico McLean was sentenced to 22 years in prison, although the state asked that he gets 35. When you've taken someone's life, I mean, that is the ultimate offense. In November of 2019, Rico McLean was inside the Popeyes in Oxon Hill with his wife and children when he stabbed and killed 28-year-old Kevin Davis, whom he didn't know. It was during the height of the hysteria surrounding the fast food chain's popular chicken sandwich. Davis was stabbed to death after allegedly cutting in line. The case made international news. McLean will have to serve at least 50% of his sentence. With time served already, he could be out in less than 10 years. Against the state's wishes, the judge did not require probation for McLean when he's released. The very least we could do is protect the public by ensuring that uh, once you return home, uh, that you are monitored and that you are complying with the law. Judge Peter Kilo presided over the case. Kilo made headlines after some county leaders accused him of being too soft on juvenile offenders. He was rotated off of the juvenile docket last week. In court, Kilo said, I was just the juvenile judge not too long ago, and I see what the absence of a father can do to a child's life. I gave you a sentence so you can get back to your children's lives. He went on to call probation a tripwire that could put McLean back in the system after his release. We think that's a basic and fundamental part of a sentence that just makes sense. As McLean's family exited the court, they declined to comment. The mother of the victim also declined comment, but in court, she told McLean she would pray for him. She said, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you every day, and I hope that you're rehabilitated. Mr. McLean did apologize to the family for what happened. The judge said that that was his first time showing any remorse throughout this entire process. I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4.